So we're currently working on the front. We need to somehow figure out a way to lift the truck off of the suspension while we work on these. Cause we have to take the tires off, make it easier to work on them. Why don't we just air it up? Use airbags, put the jack underneath it, lower the airbag back down again, then jack it up. This guy is a man of <laughs> many words. And a lot of wisdom comes from that guy right there. I'm not just a pretty face. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're working back on the 52 Chevy behind me. In the last video in part 27 we were able to completely fabricate the rear shocks on the truck. And in this video we're going to fabricate the front shocks on the truck. I've got a rough idea of how we're going to accomplish that. So I think it's going to go relatively easy but we're going to figure that out as we go along. So let's get to it. So I reversed my clamp. I'm going to put this in here like this and use it to raise up the actual control arm so I can actually work on it. Just like that. Now I can actually get in here to work on where I need to put the bolt and the shock and all that fun stuff. So right here on the lower control arm is where we're going to weld a half inch bolt through, position it here, and then we're going to take the polyurethane bushing, that slides over here, and then that is where the shock will mount onto. Now technically we don't even really have to weld this in place, we could just tighten it up, but I want to weld it in place to make sure it's nice and secure and nice and sturdy. The shock will then go on to this bolt, and then these upper brackets, which is what we have right here, this upper bracket is going to have to get widened a little bit, or I'm going to have to modify the shock a little bit, and that's going to get welded up top on top of the frame. So this bracket here is actually going to get cut and welded on top of the frame up here. So this will hold the top of the shock, this will hold the bottom of the shock. This is the shock already compressed down with some zip ties. So what we have to do and we'll air it all the way out, which is what this is positioned in right now. That'll go on here like this. So that's what it's going to look like, if you can see it. So we're going to work on grinding down the edges of the 20, 2006 Chevy HHR shocks so they will actually fit into the tops of those shock mounts. So I have the lip ground off of the shocks now, so they should fit into the upper shock brackets nice and neat. We'll test that fit now. All right, so this fits in there now, nice and neat. And then put the bottom of the shock on. Go here. The trick is we need to be out of the way of the top hat. Now we need to figure out where we need to cut this top bracket. On this line, we're going to cut this straight across, see how it fits up there. We'll adjust as we need to. So we've got this cut. This is going to sit on top of the frame up here, and this will slide onto the bolt down below. And this is going to be something like this. 
is what we're looking at right now. Bolts into the bottom, and this piece up here is going to get welded into place right there. Should fit really nice. Just don't want the top of this control arm, the upper control arm, to hit anywhere if it's bouncing up and down at all. About here, you seem to know where I need to clean up everything. Now you're going to use the grinder and clean that up. I'm going to clean up this top where we're going to be welding. I'm going to tack this in place and see if everything still fits. I'm going to clean up the inside with the quarter inch belt sander. Clean up here, clean around where you're going to weld. Then we're ready to tack this in place. Everything's cleaned up, ready to tack this in place. So that's all tacked in place now. We'll let it cool off for a minute and then we'll actually mock the shock in there and see if it fits and you know goes up and down like it should and everything. I think we're in a pretty good position though. I just wanted to make sure that the, the upper control arm wasn't going to be near hitting the bolt for the top of the shock. I think we're perfectly good clearance right now. We'll be able to weld this all better once we get the whole body off again, engine out, strip the frame down completely, finish weld everything, paint the frame, then we start reassembling. We're getting there. That looks really good. Get you a close up. This is what it looks like all mocked up. The truck is actually lowered down at this point all the way. And the shock fits in there nice and perfect. This upper shock mount is tack welded into place. Lower bolt is just sitting in there right now. We haven't actually welded that into place, but technically we don't really need to. But I don't want to keep I want to keep it from going like this a lot. It'll move if you don't weld it in place. So once I get it all nicely tightened down and everything, then we'll just put a couple little tacks in the back of that bolt and we'll be golden. I think that's going to work out really good.
Got the wheel off. I'm gonna lift this up again, just like I did the other side with the clamp. And get everything in position. Sitting the bump stop. The lower bolt right here and the lower polyurethane bushing. Put that in here. Do need to get two bolts or one more bolt. This is going to go on right here. Then we just have to figure out where we're gonna tack this other one on. And this side will be done. All right, so we gotta clean up the top of the frame here. We're gonna have to tack weld the top shock bracket to. So we're gonna clean it up here, here, in the front a little bit. Get this all nicely cleaned up with the, the flap wheel on the grinder. Um, then we can tack weld the top shock into place and we'll be pretty much done on the driver's side. The first side always takes longer trying to figure out the exact plan of attack, but once you get that side down, then the other sides go faster. This is going to go right about here, which is pretty even to the other side. Get the marker and mark it. It's just going to go like this. Get this tacked into place. Now we just have to bolt everything into place. Good to go. All right, so. We have the upper bracket tack welded in place. The bolt goes down here. Now we just have to stick the shock in place and bolt it in. The shock is fully extended now that I took the zip tie off of it. Now we just compress it down and Stick the bolt through the top. I also need to put the top bolt in full first because I can manipulate the bottom one. All right, so what we have here, we have the bottom bolt. I've decided not to actually weld these bottom bolts in place because it gives me a little bit of play when I'm connecting it to the top of the shock. So that's nice and tight. This is all the way down, relaxed all the way down. We have a clamp in place over here holding the suspension up as if it was aired out completely, which it is. We just don't have the weight on it, so it came out pretty good. Again. This top bracket will get fully welded in once everything's off the truck again for getting ready for final assembly. But for now, they are mocked up and ready to go. We're gonna work on putting the front driver's side tire back on, get the suspension aired up just to make sure it travels up and down nicely. 
and we'll be completely done with the shock mock-up. Right now I'm going to air up the front of the truck and get the jack out from underneath the front so we can fully test it going up and down with the shocks on it to make sure it can still go as low as we need it to and it can still raise up properly. For this video, as you can see, the rear shocks are complete, the front shocks are complete, the truck articulates perfectly up and down as it should, and now we actually have some ride dampening with the shocks installed. We've got a lot of stuff coming up, gas tank, rear bumper, front bumper, we're going to make some filler plates on the truck, we've got a lot of stuff going on, so if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification icon bell down below so you know when future videos do come out, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.